the same parents who were upset that these chickens were being slaughtered. Probably the same parents who like comment bacon though, uh, or say, oh, these vegans, they're so extreme. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I just want to say a big shout out to my Patreon team for supporting my mission, first of all, and I hope you all are all doing well. Thank you to everyone who is subscribed to the channel. And we're going to hit this up today with an amazingly hypocritical article from the advertiser, which is my hometown is South Australia, Adelaide. And a little article here, Ingle Farm Primary School Students traumatized after seeing slaughtered chickens at their school. Wait, wait a second, I thought chickens were food. Why are children being traumatized from seeing their food be slaughtered? I thought chickens were just objects, a uh, circle of life. Aren't human beings omnivores? Doesn't might make right? We are the uh, dominant species. You know, why are children who are also omnivores, they're like little lion cubs. Why are they getting traumatized after seeing their food get slaughtered. I mean, do lion cubs get traumatized when they see their mum, the lioness, slaughtering antelope on the savannah? Absolutely not. Ridiculous, right? So, does this like, doesn't this trip you out a little bit? Like, aren't we supposed to be like, quote unquote, like, you know, carnivores, omnivores, meat eaters, natural, vicious, look at these canines, meat eaters? How are you traumatized? How are the children traumatized from seeing their food get produced? Let's continue. Ingle Farm Primary School has been offered an outpouring of support from the local community after hand-raised chickens were found violently killed at their school this week. Well, well, what did you have for dinner last night, kids? <laughs> Do these children even know that they're all already eating slaughtered chickens? Have you seen the scenes uh, in Dominion, which is Australian-based, uh, mostly film, and uh, most chickens are factory farmed in, in Australia, living horrible lives, RSPCA-approved nonsense, like sheds filled with suffering, and then they go in to get uh, electrically bathed or gas-chambered as chickens and slaughtered, a uh, knife cr cut across their throat. Many of the chickens actually die in the sheds, just suffer and die in the sheds before, like some of the chicks, baby chicks get culled just by being stomped on because they're not growing fast enough. This is all happening in chicken sheds all across Australia, all across Australia. But if you're upset at a few chickens here, which is still an injustice and I'm still upset about, then you must be absolutely distraught over the state of animal agriculture. Or is it that you've got a massive blind spot there and you've got an inconsistent worldview where this is bad and eating chicken is fine because it's a humane slaughter. Staff and students at Ingle Farm Primary School were traumatized after three chickens from their coop were found slaughtered and display on their school grounds in a vandalism attack. Oh my Lord, I think it's something like 50 billion, over 50 billion chickens are being slaughtered every year in animal agriculture. And that's only the, the chickens that are on grid. What about the chickens that are off grid? What about those chickens? The ones that they don't count in villages and stuff. You're looking, you're looking at a, a lot more than what's being counted being slaughtered. If the students at the school were traumatized after three chickens from their coop were found slaughtered, then why aren't they being fed uh, vegan diets, for starters? Why aren't they living a vegan lifestyle? Why aren't you teaching them, these, these children, to live a vegan lifestyle? The, the same parents who are upset that these chickens were being slaughtered, Probably the same parents who like comment bacon though, uh, or say, oh, these vegans, they're so extreme. Vegans are very extreme, you know, like, oh, well, it says the staff and students, you know, we're both traumatized. So uh, I hope they're all vegan. You know, the students, less accountability as a child because you, you're being taught what your parents are teaching. You're being fed what your parents feed you. I was fed what my, my parents fed me. They didn't know any better either. But as adults, you know, come on. If you can't see the hypocrisy here, you really have to look a little harder. Police have launched an investigation into the attack, which happened sometime between Tuesday night and Wednesday morning at the school. Police have launched an investigation into the attack. Well, recently a friend of mine, Leah, was actually arrested by the police for allegedly taking a chicken out of a horrible factory farm. I had six to seven police officers 
show up here yesterday morning. Um, they raided my home. They took my car. They took my phone. They arrested me and took me to the watch house. I think all she did was post a photo, okay, and the police have arrested her, put an ankle bracelet on her so they can track her movements. They took her cars, impounded them to search for chicken feathers, okay, causing her hell because she allegedly took a chicken out of a factory farm and saved the chicken from suffering. That's what the police seem to inv be investigating on the side of animal agriculture. Why aren't the police investigating the, you know, thousands upon thousands of cases of, of gross animal cruelty that happens every single day in Australian factory farms? No, but they want to launch an attack on these twisted people who have gone and killed these three chickens because there was public outrage. But as soon as it's um, part of your play, it's, oh, this is humane. This is the way we've always done it. Um, you know, there's no public outrage. When vegans are outraged, though, we're extreme. Absolute hypocrisy. And it just, it pisses me off a little bit, to be honest with you. Like, police will investigate three chickens being slaughtered because it made the staff and the students upset. They won't go and investigate chickens being slaughtered because it makes the animals upset or it robs them of their right to life or that it violates their bodily autonomy, which is completely inconsistent and hypocritical. So here we go. Three chickens were found violently slaughtered on Wednesday morning, displayed on play equipment on the school's tennis court. So they killed the chickens, they displayed them on the, the play equipment to, I don't know, traumatize the kids, which I think is the sign of a sick psychopathic killer to do that um you know if they're doing that to animals at a young age they will probably grow into serial killers or do something violent to human beings but you know just because it was in plain sight does not make it any different to the animals who are being slaughtered en masse i think in australia it's something like half a billion chickens slaughtered every year half a billion i can't even imagine or conceive that number but people will happily support that you know it's out of mind out of sight you know happily support it no problems Three chickens on the playground, attacked, killed, and all of a sudden get the police involved. People need to wake up and realize that they're paying for and consuming a lot worse cruelty and violence than what happens on that playground every single day of their lives. So one chicken survived the attack and is being cared for off site. So they're caring for this chicken, right? Which I think is fantastic that they're doing that. You know, of course I support caring for chickens, but they probably go and eat a chicken dinner that night. They're caring for a chicken who was attacked because these are their chickens in their little coop here at this school, you know, a little learning thing where they're objectifying these animals just to learn from them and they probably were going to kill these chickens if they become useless to them anyway. But uh, because people have come in and slaughtered these chickens um, without their permission, um, all of a sudden it's a massive deal. So Principal Vanessa Mortimer says, in the last 24 hours, people have been very generous. Gummaraka fodder store offered to donate chickens to the school after the damaged chicken coop had been repaired. So wait a second. So there's a fodder store um, offering to donate chickens to the school. So they're going to get baby chicks. They're, they're basically supporting an industry that breeds chickens into existence. And I don't know if you've seen what happens in parent breeder sheds. Horrible place. Um, are they egg layers? Yes, they are. They're these brown chicks, chickens here. They could be egg layers. I assume they're egg layers. If they are egg layers... Then they're supporting the hatcheries who macerate male chicks in Australia. This is Australian footage because they won't grow to produce eggs. So in a hatchery, Gumaraka fodder store here is probably sourcing their chicks. It's almost 100% from a hatchery, basically supporting the maceration of male chicks, which is incredibly common. Um, or they gas them or bag them up and suffocate them. But, you know, macerator is pretty common in Australia to donate the chicks to the school. So they're supporting one horrific industry to replace some chickens who were slaughtered um, so they can objectify these chickens in these coops, get take their eggs, I don't know what else they're doing to these animals, and then, you know, probably take them to the slaughterhouse to be humanely dispatched after they're done with them. Incredible hypocrisy here. So one really kind parent has come in and donated $200. Wow, really? Because people are upset. Why don't you donate that money to an animal sanctuary who are rescuing animals from human beings who are paying for them to be in slaughterhouses? Um... Why don't you use that $200 to buy some vegan food for the family and get them off of the animal products which cause egregious amounts of cruelty? I think people were more concerned with the fact that staff and students were traumatised um, by seeing that than they were that the chickens were harmed. Because if they really cared about the chickens, they definitely wouldn't be paying for them to be executed en masse and live a life of suffering in factory farms. Miss Mortar says the school is focusing on the positives now and the generosity of the community as well as repairing the coop. Wow. So they're, are they more upset about the coop? The, the coop got damaged? You know? I don't know. It's... Look, 
that school better be putting on some vegan options after this. Staff were first alerted when they noticed the chicken roaming around the school grounds on Wednesday morning. As staff, we had to remove the deceased chickens quite quickly to protect the well-being of the students, Miss Mortimer said. Oh, really? Because you wouldn't want the kids seeing where their food comes from. Hey, dead, murdered chickens. You know, it's okay to put, you know, a roast chicken on the table, cut out the entire process of them being slaughtered. Is anyone seeing the absolute insanity of society? you got to hide dead chickens from kids, but you're allowed to feed them, you know, a roast chicken from Woolies. You know, Woolworths, grab them a roast chicken, they're already roasted, chuck it on the table. It's a dead bird, murdered against their will. Just they've been plucked and gutted and you've missed the whole murder part. Counseling has been offered to staff members and students who witnessed the distressing scene. You need counseling to, to witness how your food is produced? How insane is that? Maybe you shouldn't be eating it. Maybe you shouldn't be paying for these industries to exist. Miss Mortimer said, Wednesday was a sad day for the school community. They've, the chickens, have also become a bit of a safe space for students who need a bit of a sensory break. What about the well-being of the chickens? If you care about the chickens, you should stop paying for horrific cruelty to, to exist and suffering and breaching the rights of chickens all over the Australia. It's very discouraging and just really disappointing because it's not behaviour that is consistent with our school values. If it isn't consistent with your school values, I would look through the cafeteria and take all of the chicken flesh out of there and serve vegan chicken in your cafeteria. Or I would take all the animal products because every single animal that is used for their eggs and dairy, uh, their body, uh, beef and chicken and pork, which is pig, cows, uh, fish, you know, all of those animals have their rights violated and are executed. So if it is really not consistent with your school values, then you should really make your cafeteria consistent with your stance against animal abuse, yeah? The chickens were hand-raised by students and introduced to the community at the end of 2020. Irrelevant whether they were hand-raised by the students, if you are paying for the other animals that you didn't hand-raise to be executed, it is not morally different. Miss Mortimer sent out a notice to families on Wednesday afternoon. With a heavy heart, I advise that many students today have been affected by an overnight incident at our school grounds resulting in vandalism to our chicken coop, she said. Staff have worked respectfully with students during the day to unpack feelings of shock, sadness, anger, and general distress. Wow, sounds like how an activist feels when they see the utter contempt and disregard that animals are shown. And then when people come up and make fun of it and go, oh, bacon though, oh, oh we're supposed to be eating meat. Plants feel pain. Hey, how about this one, kids? Plants feel pain. It's okay. Don't worry about the chickens. You walk on the grass. The grass feels pain too. Absolutely insane. Um, this is what uh, animal rights activists have to deal with every single day. Um, imagine you felt this shock, sadness, anger, and general distress from seeing animals be slaughtered and someone come up and said, oh, you know, vegans are extreme. You know, maybe they should just leave people alone. It's a personal choice to kill chickens on the school gr ground. You know, it was their personal choice to slaughter those chickens. Chickens, um, you know, they're put here for humans to kill and eat. What about this one, guys? What if the people who went in there, attacked the chicken coop, got chickens out, they actually slaughtered the chickens, and then they, they, they cooked them up on the school grounds? How would you feel about that? How would you feel about them cooking up those chickens? Because that's what you do anyway. You know, what if they, they use those chi What if they said we killed them so we could eat them? You know, we were hungry. Would you would that be different because they're eating the bodies of them? Interesting, hey. Um, and if you would be okay with that, would you be okay with them killing, you know, a dog or a cat and doing the same thing? Some students were picked up early from school today while social worker will work with students and staff tomorrow following the incident. Wow. This is a very big deal for people's emotional state here, seeing chickens be slaughtered. They're getting psychologists and everything. They're getting social workers, it's offering trauma therapy. Crazy, but I thought it was a circle of life. Miss Mortem asked parents to contact teachers for any specific support their child may need in upcoming days. Well, you know what? Maybe you should uh, just stop feeding kids the slaughtered flesh of animals and stop lying to them as well. Crime scene examiners from police attended the school on Wednesday and investigators will continue. Anyone with information should contact Crime Stoppers. Should we contact Crime Stoppers and say, hey, seeing as crime scene investigators are investigating some chickens being slaughtered, I know where there's millions of chickens being slaughtered right now. Slaughterhouse down the road, Ingham's Chickens, which is not too far from Ingle Farm, I think it's on Port Wafel Road there. Ingham's Chickens, why don't you go in there? See all the instances of cruelty that happen in that place. Why don't they put cameras in there, show the students, hey? Why don't they, crime scene investigators, go to Ingham's Chickens Slaughterhouse and the local factory farms, which are not too far away from Ingle Farm School there, and show them all of the egregious cruelties that happen inside those factory farms. And why don't the crime scene invest examiners from police head down there and arrest all of the animal abusers and then give everyone who pays for these industries a warning and show them the footage and say, hey, stop supporting these industries. Put it all over the news. That's what I want to see. And I really do hope that Ingle Farm School 
really starts educating the kids about animal rights here because it seems like a lot of the staff and the students, they don't like seeing this cruelty, you know what I mean? I don't want to be too hard on anyone here. I've just been doing this for a long time and it, and it really annoys me that people will, will eat the bodies of these animals and then be upset someone has gone and killed them when they're essentially doing the same thing through the supply and demand chain. When you pay for these animal products, you're essentially causing this to happen. If I went and paid those... Let me perfect example before we finish. If I went and paid those people to go and kill those birds to dump them all over the playground, I'm responsible and so are they. We are both responsible. They would go to the police, oh, Joey paid me to do it. And that's exactly what you're doing. When you're eating chicken, you're paying someone to rob the rights of these animals, to mass breed them, to give them a life of, to force them into a life of suffering in factory farms and then to execute them. So that's my advice. If you don't like seeing animals be slaughtered, stop paying for it to happen and live vegan.